guys, the Super Review Show for another My Thoughts on Video. I have not done one of these in a little bit, but why not? It's called My Thoughts on Anyways. Um, today's My Thoughts on Video is My Thoughts on Book to Film Adaptations. Now, there's been plenty of these over the past 20, 30 years or so. Even longer than that, truthfully. I mean, you look at film... It dates, book to Film Adaptations have dated back since the beginning of cinema, truthfully. Now, one thing I always want to touch on with people is when... You have a book to a film adaptation. Everyone's like, the common argument that you typically get is, oh, it's not like the book. It's not like the book. Or the movie took liberties here. I'm a little tired of hearing that argument as a film fan, as a fan of art in general. I'm not a fan of how they, they meaning most people, like critique. Oh, like, I'll give you an example. I just saw... Um, it ends with us with Blake Lively in theaters. Yes, we didn't do another theater reaction because I was with two friends of mine. But yes, we I did see the Blake Lively film. Uh, it ends with us, and it was a great, a really nice romantic comedy or dramedy, whatever you want to call it. Um, it was really nice. I like and Blake Lively was fantastic. So she's a fantastic actress, um, and she nailed it. I would. It, it was. A, it was. A, but it was a you know, cute, funny rom com about her and her flower shop, whatever. It was really good. I liked it a lot. I. Yes, I cried during it. Bear with me. I know, I know. My, my friends are with me. Yeah, are you crying? I'm like, yes, I'm crying. Uh, it was really great. I liked it a lot. But regardless, though, I didn't read the book. So I don't know how the book was compared to the movie. One of the things I like about going to see a movie instead of reading a book, this is just me. I'm not, I'm not saying I'm an anti-reader. I like to read, like not often, but I like to read. I'm looking over there because I have my book collection over there of autobiographies that I like to read. Um... I'm not anti-book, but I just prefer the media, the medium of watching a movie compared to reading a book. That's just my own personal preference, honestly. Like, I'm more of a fan of watching something and interpreting it that way than reading something and interpreting it that way, if that makes sense. Um, um, again, the film adaptations go back to, from books, date back to the dawn of cinema, truthfully. Um, one of my favorites, of course, is uh, I shouldn't say one of my favorites, but because like, it's not that I hate the franchise or I hate the property, but I just could not get into it the way like I'm such a hardcore fan of like Lord of the Rings. I mean, I've seen them; they are very good movies. All are subjective. I'm just telling you what I think. They're very good movies, but they're not for me. I understand that Tolkien has the book of Lord of the Rings, like this thick, whatever, and it's like. Duh, Tons of copies and all that stuff. One of the best sellers of all time. And The Hobbit, same thing. Book to film adaptations uh, can work. And sometimes they don't work. And honestly, I'm a big fan of how when you have a movie in theaters. And the book... Or a, a better example of this. More than the more so than Lord of the Rings was Pitch Perfect in 2012. I love Pitch Perfect. I'm a big fan of that movie. Uh, and the, the two sequels that followed up with the two. I did get around to watching the second, third one. It was very, quite emotional for me because I'm a, I'm a Pitch Perfect fan. Yes, I said that. Um, but needless to say, though, it was based on a book. Another thing, too, is I feel like the reverse way of saying, oh, it's a movie now. Let's go see the movie. And then I feel like it's just based on the book by so-and-so, the author. It's kind of like, oh, well, okay, well, I didn't know this was a book. I didn't know it was a book. I, I didn't know that Pitch Perfect was a book. I didn't know that... I mean, I knew Lord of the Rings was a book, but I didn't know like that this Blake Lively film It Ends With Us was a book. It's just, it's, I feel personally that, that the books, the books that turn into movies um, are, I feel like, the, you have, going back to my original question about why do, why, why do I have a problem with like, oh, uh, uh, like people are just like, they didn't sound like the book or didn't go along with the book or like Diary Room, we get another one. I remember in the, sitting in theaters, like they didn't copy the book. So, the big thing is, I'm a fan of when... Look, all art is subjective, so just bear with me for a sec here. I'm a big fan of when... Of film, of books, of art, you name it. I'm a big fan of all that stuff. However, I think screenwriters take liberties with the book. Because the book is a book. The film is a film. Sometimes, and this is not autobiographies like the Queen biopic that was based on like a true story and stuff like that. That's a different conversation for another time. But the book, like a book is a book, a movie is a movie, and they sometimes they take liberties with the book to to translate it to the movie. Because like 
and Harry Potter, another one. I love the Harry Potter films. Though the, I will say the the more that though that those film series progressed, the more they were like the books, which is kind of crazy. Um, but needless to say, though, uh, this is a very hotly debated topic amongst film fans and book fans alike. I mean, comic books and in, in other, that, that I'm not counting that because that's a different style of book in general to a film adaptation in general. The, the, the Marvel took like Ragnarok, Thor Ragnarok, and they made like shot for shot what was in the graphic novel kind of thing or the comic, the comic book kind of thing. That's a totally different thing. Whereas you have book to film adaptations like Forrest Gump, another one that just popped in my head. Forrest Gump, the author hated the adaptation of Forrest Gump because in the book, Bill touched on this too, I'm not going to go too much into that, but like Winston Groom hated Forrest Gump, the movie, because he, 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 certain things that happened in the book did not happen in the movie and he was a certain character portrayed a certain way. The studios took liberties to make that movie what it is, and it won Best Picture that year. Shawshank Redemption, same, same thing. Shawshank was a, based on a short novel, and it became one of the best movies of all time. So the conversation couldn't go back and forth in more than just a six or seven minute video like I'm making right now. But needless to say, though, I think, look, a book is a book, a movie is a movie, but when, is, when does that fine line take place? My thoughts on it are basically, like, look, look, the author created a book, whatever their, it could be a, a romantic comedy, it could be a, based on like a, a sci-fi novel, like Dune, another one. Um, but the movie comes out, and like, it wasn't like the book. I'm curious to see what you have to say out there in the comments section below. Thanks so much for watching this video. What do you guys think? Do you think movies need to be more like the books, kind of like Harry Potter or Lord of the Rings? Or could they take liberties like Diver and We Kid did, or even, you know, Pitch Perfect may have? I, I didn't read the Pitch Perfect book, but who's to say, like, that they took liberties with that book or Forrest Gump, another one. What What do you guys think of that? I'm curious to see what people have to say out there in the comment section below about book to film adaptations. Very curious to see what you have to say out there. But thanks so much for watching this video. Like, comment, subscribe, hit the bell for notifications. Don't forget to follow us on our social media pages as well. Simply at The Superview Show. But for all of your, my thoughts on videos, keep locked on The Superview Show, The J-Man's Up to Rock. We'll see you guys later.